Welcome to today's web series episode for JetTrack Fire Inspection for desktop and mobile devices. My name is Dean Weatherston and I'm one of the FileMaker developers who put this app together and I hope to give you some basic insight into how it works and the recommended methods. Today's topic is looking at the technician schedule and one of the layouts called the work order layout. And uh, what you're looking at in the background here is uh, my iPad that I'm uh, projecting onto uh, our screen here and I've logged in as myself so you're seeing up at the top here it says schedule for Dean and that's uh, part of uh, the magic that happens with our solution is that it uh, recognizes who is logged in and just gives you a schedule of that technician. Um, just looking at uh, what, you, what we're seeing here from left to right you see the work order number on the left side uh, moving across to some of the information about the times and where we're going, the property name and the address. And then to the right, you see uh, how many pieces of special equipment we brought. And to the right of that, there is a link to go to the work order. Before we do that, uh, you might have noticed um, some of those green links have got um, some initials such as RE and RP. And that stands for Repair Dispatch or Redispatch. Um, if this is a brand new dispatch, you won't see anything. So uh, uh, just once in a while when we do have uh, other types of dispatches, you'll see that uh, it'll denote RE or RP. All right. One last thing before uh, I click on one of these links and go to the work order is down at the bottom, you will see down near the bottom left, there's a date range um, drop down. And this is basically um, a filtering um, uh, option so that, you know, when, when as we're building more and more of these uh, um, uh, dispatches for the technician, um, this will help them control what they want to see for the coming week or last week. Really depends on them. So let me just try and change this to this week. You'll see in the background just three records remain uh, within that time frame. Change it back to last month. And you'll see... Uh, some different records showing up in the background there. So let's just go back to everything and I'll select the blank area. Very good. Um, let's go and click on one of these examples here. I'll go with the second from the top there. And that brings us through to our work order um, and uh, a few different areas here. So up at the top left, um, you see some information about the work order number, uh, where it is, the main contact. Um, just below that, if we had an image for this uh, location, that's where it would show up. To the right, you see in the middle um, the building uh, information and the procedures set to be performed for each of the buildings below that. To the far right, uh, you see... Uh, a work order status um, button is available and I'll get into that uh, towards the end of this. Uh, below that we have some notes that come with that. Um, just below that you see dispatch notes which is something that came from our um, uh, dispatch itself when we were setting it up and um, to the left of that you can see um, uh, we have attached uh, a PDF with this um, with this uh, dispatch and let me go and click on that just to show you that it that it's there and there you can see just an example of opening up an external document and this is a, a pretty normal looking uh, PDF let's click done at the top go back to our screen and down at the bottom there is an area that is shared between two areas um, the deficiencies and the system information. By default, you will see the deficiencies at the top and you see the, the big blue uh, new record option. And we've been uh, informed that it's, uh, it's a fairly common practice to just run through uh, deficiencies from the get-go and add new ones as you go along uh, inside a building. 
uh, let me click on the system info button to the right and here you can see uh, all the um, system information records that we have for this building and I can keep on scrolling to see what else is there and each of these records I can click on to go to a link for more details let me switch it back to to um, the deficiencies one other area I forgot to mention is that there is a little clock next to the system info button if I click on that that is some basic time tracking uh, and you can see we've already been testing this out a little bit um, basically every time you come into the work order it automatically click, uh, uh, selects the current time and you see there 435 at the bottom is our uh, current time just uh, a few minutes ago uh, the technician would need to click the, the clock out area which I've done and then uh, select from one of the descriptions or just leave it we'll just put break again and close that um, up at the top there are some colors that are going to be changing uh, changing during the uh, uh, inspection by the technician uh, right now at the top the the, the first record has uh, been changed to a green color and that indicates that the uh, inspection has been completed and there have been no issues everything else is still red because uh, we haven't gone in there at all yet or added any new deficiencies and uh, as soon as we get rolling on those you'll see that the color will change to orange and then finally when we finish with with each of those inspections it'll, it'll change to green back to uh, the top right where uh, I mentioned there's a little button for the technician this is the work order status this is where he would uh, decide depending on where he is with the uh, an inspection or the work order uh, what the status is and uh, whether or not to sync it back to the office or not uh, we've got three options there and uh, you can make up your mind as to what each of those uh, actually mean um, and then just below that there's some optional notes that we can add to further explain um, uh, the, the status further if it's not clear so let me just uh, speak in the microphone and test it out testing with the microphone as you can see that's a pretty 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 uh, fancy and easy way to add um, information to these fields so you don't have to be bother bothering too much with your fingers all in all um, that that pretty much concludes um, our video for today just a basic look uh, please stay tuned for some uh, more in-depth videos in the future and in other areas for on this solution um, we, we can't wait to show you all that um, thank you very much for uh, following along uh, speak to you the next time thanks